Carol. Hey, what's the password, Ricky? Luke Cornier is a chump. Oh, you're in. Welcome. Dude, what the heck am I looking at, fellas? It's not even the same shack, is it? It's literally not. This looks baller. Oh, yes. Good morning, everybody, and thank you for taking time out of your day and clicking on this video. Before this goes any farther, pause the video, like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you haven't seen the last couple videos, click this thing right here and you guys can get caught up. Basically, Sam and I bought the shack and we've been renovating it with Justin, Owen, and his brothers, and we have come a long way. Now, where we last left off the last video, we did the ceilings and the walls, and as you can tell, yeah, it looks great. I think I also mentioned uh, before I left you guys that we were going to film putting up the trim, but we ended up just saying, eh, you know what, Owen and Justin, if you guys feel like staying up late and going hard, go for it. We ended up getting all the trim around the tops and the bottoms and the walls, and it looks fantastic. So all of our hiccups that we had before, you can't even tell anymore because we got the trim in, and it just hides all of that and just... I think it adds a really good modern touch to it. And yeah, shout out to Owen and Justin for doing that last night. And Oakley. Justin's sleeping. Oh, no, Justin's Oakley sleeping? Was here. Yeah, Oakley was going hard too. For today's video, this is where the cool part happens, all right? Now that we have kind of the base layer done, all we have to do is, well, number one, we gotta get the wench in the front to start working before anything, because that has to be done before you take it ice fishing. It lowers you down to the ground. Uh, we have to put the propane heater back in here and then start constructing beds, cabinets, tables, etc. And just adding the, mwah, the the icing on top of the cake. So obviously we got to go to Flareland, aka Menards, and get a bunch of materials, meet up with Justin, do some game planning, and then come back in here and give it a little elbow grease. So I'll see you guys over at Maynards. I'm afraid of the camera. Hmm, bucko, what are we looking for right now? Just a nice little running mat to put down in the middle of the shack. That way, you know, it don't get too slippery for people and it's more comfortable to walk on. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. All right, so, oh, you want that one instead, Owen? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna put this one right as soon as you walk in the door. And then we got a, uh, what is this, a three a three by eight running mat to put in the middle of all the holes. So if you're at night doing an underwear catch and the, you know, the vinyl's a little bit wet, you can walk with your bare feet on the running mat and it stays nice and warm. So we got these two mats and I think for right now that will be good. All right, now that we have the mats, we have to get a black electrical box, potentially doorknob, black chalk, LED strips, weather strip, hole sleeves, tabletops, black paint, power strip, and a fire extinguisher. Right on. So, uh, we are going to start constructing our first shelf in the front of the shack. I'll actually go show you guys where it's actually going to be at. We'll get inside here, but our idea was we'd have a shelf right here so we could put like a pizza oven or just good storage. I mean, we might even put a microwave up here. So we don't know, we don't want it too high obviously, so you can still fit stuff up there. So I think we're just going to go the happy medium and bring it down to about right here. We are gonna co-construct this. We got time lapse going up here. And uh, just kinda talk you guys through on how we're gonna be doing it.
Well, we just got done with the amazing little storage pot up here. Look at that. That looks pretty darn good to me. Get the black trim on the face here. Matches all the other trim, obviously. And we can store a lot of stuff up here. You could even sleep somebody up here. Yep. You think you could fit up there, Owen? Nope. But hey, first thing we got done, now we are gonna be working on the jackknife couch. We were actually able to find one, and uh, we're actually gonna be swapping with Justin. So John's actually out right now, picking up the jackknife couch, which is camo. And then Justin has a nice leather one that he's gonna be swapping with us. Mm -hmm. So you shout out to Justin for helping us with literally this whole shack and for giving us the jackknife couch that he's got. But we're gonna be working on the frame for it. Another page. And then the top bunk and then a couple tables and we'll be good to go. And we're ready to rock and roll. Alright, well we're just gonna to get to work. Hopefully you guys enjoy the time lapse. All right, little update for you guys. It is currently 519, last time we saw you guys was around one-ish, but we did get a lot of stuff done in there. We got the jackknife couch, which we will show you in just a little bit. We got some cubbies, and we got some other stuff going on in there as well. But John is almost back from getting the jackknife couch from the other town, so we can put that into Justin's because we took Justin's jackknife couch. Confusing, but that's what we did. And John is gonna be here shortly. We're gonna surprise him. We haven't showed him anything 
that we've done. We haven't sent him any pictures or anything like that. So uh, when he gets here, we'll kind of do a walkthrough and uh, show what it looks like. Z, how does it look in there? Well, it's pretty good in there. Yeah? How does it look from the last time you saw it? Uh, the last time I saw it? Like yesterday last yeah. time? Yeah, how, how does it look from then? Um, that time it was pretty good. Yeah. And then it got even better. Well, that's good. Hey, what are you doing back there lurking around, huh? Can you gritty? Oh, buddy! You gotta be careful. Right, slippy on. My hey, toes are hey. slippery, son. Son? Hey, up, Bucko. What up? How's your little drive? <sighs> Long, falling asleep, so I had to drink a rain. You already know how it is. Oh, right on. You guys been going hard? Yeah, you'll have to come check it out and All see. Right. What, we'll see I'm what gonna we be doing. like real disappointed, like if there's just nothing done. Oh. I'm excited. Here we go. Oh, dang, son, dude, this is baller. Yeah, oh, yeah. that looks so good back there. It's really comfy. Oh yeah, my, dude, this looks I mean, nice. Yeah. Big time. Oh yeah, Big time. dude. This is so nice. You guys did some work over here. Yeah. This thing is. Deb's on sleeping on this every day. <laughs> when you go, pull that up. Yep. Pull that out. Bruh. Now hop so on there. Bruh. Oh, GG's. Oh, dude. This is unreal comfy. Wow, you guys got this up. Uh, you guys got we oh, started on the bottom. We needed more boards, yeah. Oh, okay. I got I brought boards. I brought boards. Dude. Yeah, that, that's sick. Right? That looks like you should like put like a lava lamp on there or something. I, I told me to put a garbage can in there. Garbage can. True. Hey, I got you guys some NASs, but thank you. Well, as you can tell, I was doing John things. In order for me, I don't know if you told them, but in order for us to get this jackknife sofa. I had to go get another jackknife sofa to give to him. So his is in the back of my truck right now. And uh, on the way back, I had to pick up some NOS, some lumber, and yeah. But this is cool. I'm ready to help though, boys. Ready to help.
Oh, hey, hey, how's it going? <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is pretty much done. All right, so there's some little minor things that we have to do still that uh, I probably won't film just because, I mean, you guys get the point, uh, but the inside is done and I'm gonna give you guys the full walkthrough of our new ice shack. And some, I asked you guys in the first video, what should we name this, what should we name this? There's one that stuck out. It had the icing on top of the cake for me. We're gonna call this the BBC. Because this is the big black castle, okay? That's what we're gonna call it. I don't know who commented that, but that was hilarious, dude, and that's what it's gonna be called. So this is the Mindac BBC. And here is the tour. Alrighty, so first Sam, I'll just let you do a big pan of everything. You just do a pan of all of that. Mm -hmm. I'll stay out of your way. All right, so all in all, this took about three days, I think, something like that, okay? You guys saw the whole progressions, but we're gonna go through the walkthrough. We're gonna start in the front. We decided to build a little table up here. And originally there was one up here, but it was about halfway here. We decided to bring it all the way out to the door and we laid this little rubber mat on there, put the trim on it, and it's looking very, very sexy. Over here we have uh, our plugins and right now we just have these lights, these LED lights that we hung around, uh, the strip lights, but eventually we're gonna put a power strip right here and just kind of have some madness going on there. I don't even really know. And then we decided we should probably be a little bit safe. We put a fire extinguisher right by the door, just in case someone needs it for an emergency. I hope to gosh darn we never have to use it, but you just never know and you wanna be ready for an emergency. But uh, down here, we installed the Mr. Heater. Originally, it was underneath this, but we decided, you know what? I think it's gonna look better up there and it's gonna work better. We had cords kind of running all along here. It was kind of like a safety hazard. Someone could hit it, they could just leak propane. We didn't want that. So now there's no propane cords dangling. It's just wall and the heater. A lot of you guys are saying this thing puts its heat and you're gonna need to keep it just on the lowest setting. So I'm all right with that. We are thinking about putting a fan up here that's going to blow it all this way, all the air that way. Um, so we still got to install that and then under here also we're gonna put rattle rails because we have two holes here And then LED stripping is also underneath the here Which I can turn it on actually for you guys really quick if I just point this over here Oh, there we go. Look at that a sexy blue lighting uh, It's gonna be nice at night leaving these little lights on just so you can see where you're walking if you have to get catch a fish on the rattle reel no need to turn on the big lights and wake up everybody. But we have it running across there, which I kind of already showed you guys. Uh, some of the colors don't work, but I think blue is pretty cool. Blue is the one that works right now the best, so we're gonna leave it blue. Down the middle, we put a big running mat, and I explained in the store why it's nice, just because, you know, if it, the floor is a little bit wet and you wanna take your shoes off or you have socks on and you don't wanna get, get those drenched, you can just walk on this nice, dry mat which is cool and underneath sam we put a welcome mat uh you can damp, yeah do some of that you know but moving over here uh we have just this was all pretty much the same we gotta we gotta hang the curtains back on which will be no big deal we ended up putting new trim around it and it's black because it matches all the other trim which we really like that and then this is a new addition we took uh it was just like basically a big circle at menards cut it in half and made it two little tables Originally, we were gonna put it down here a little bit lower and it was gonna be a folding one But Sam said what if we just put it under under like this and add a couple supports for it? Bam There we go. Obviously you like you can't be sitting on this It's just kind of common sense, but you know we could be sitting here I could put a beer right here and be talking to Sam and that's what we wanted it for so that worked out really well for for us Moving on to the TV area. This is actually Broken Wings TV. I don't know how I have it in possession, but we decided to hang it up. And it's a 42 inch TV. I don't know if you guys can see in the back, but we have that TV mount so it actually swivels. And when you're sitting on the couch over here, you guys could be watching Netflix, you know, invite the girls over, whatever, you know. One thing we wanted to do was add kind of like a little rope or, I mean, this is just a little strap right here that keeps this from bouncing. Uh, when you're driving, you don't, obviously you don't want the TV just flinging everywhere because it'd probably break. So if you look, look at that. 
That's going nowhere. I'll give it the old classic dad thing. That's not going anywhere, all right? And we just took these little rings and screwed them in there and ran the little strip across it and it worked out great. Electrical, right there. You still have some extras for if you wanna charge your phone or whatever. But now this is the cool part, okay? Moving to the back here. We got a bed up here and the jackknife sofa that Justin was so nice to trade for, okay? I ended up going and getting a different one that he wanted and we just kind of swapped and this one looks better in here, he was saying. And I also agree, the color matches everything. But um, I don't know exactly how this works, but I know you guys saw him do it. It pulls out and then this pulls out for support and you guys can obviously lay on there. Very, very comfortable. But we decided, you know what? We need two people sleeping in here sometimes. So let's get another bed. You can fish underneath here with it up if you really want to. Okay, you got your hole here, two holes, two guys jigging back here, whatever. You can put a third here just to hang out. But if you really want the extra room, you can just do one of these numbers like this. And then we added a carabiner with some chains right there, more of these little ring thingies. And basically the general gist of it is you take this, whatever, and you hook it on there and then bam, look at that. It's not gonna fall down, all right? So now we have more room to set hooks, Kevin Van Dam style, or just do some Tom Foolery back here, man, all right? When we're driving, if you guys need more storage, you can always shove things back here. So if I have a bag for like a weekend, shove it back there, storage, it's up out of the way and it's not gonna be bouncing around or whatever. So I'm just gonna put this back down just for purposes of it looking cool. It does look a lot cooler like this. But Justin also hooked it up again. He hooked up everything, but he sold me this mattress that matches this couch and kind of the walls, okay? It's probably, eh, what do you think? Like two, three inches thick, memory foam kind of. I don't uh, know. Nah, maybe not memory foam. I'd say that's 12. Whoever wants to sleep up here, Sam's probably gonna sleep up here because he is a little bit smaller. And uh, hey. I mean, this bed can support everything, bro. But if need be, say emergency situation, someone gets stuck on the side of the road or something happens or yep. this house burns down and they don't have anywhere to go, you can sleep someone up here. You it's could. not very ideal, yeah. but you could do it. We don't really want to do it, but it, it can support it, all right? Your butt might get hot from this, from the heater there, but whatever, you know? Emergency only, someone can sleep up here. But if we are going to be sleeping three, we're going to bring a cot and we're thinking we're going to line it right here. So it'd be over this hole. We're going to have that hole cover on there and then they could be fishing in this one and have rattle reels and all that good stuff. But um, what else is back here? Uh, okay. Yeah. Underneath here, if you guys can see under there, we just got open storage. Now, uh, you know, a good idea would be to put some totes in there and keep like some cooking things in there or whatever else you want to store in there, auger more bags, camera gear. You can shove it under there and it's gonna be nice and ready to go. Onto this side, window number two, exact same as the other side. We did the same other half of the circle over here. Again, chill with the boys, drink a beer, all the good stuff. Got some supports under there. We have more electrical stuff there to charge things. And then huge, this is huge guys, I suggest this, okay? Get a carbon monoxide detector, okay? For some reason, if something bad happens, that's gonna go off and we're gonna know it's time to get out of here or turn that son of a gun off and open these up, okay? So that could save lives. Definitely make sure to put that and a fire extinguisher in your guys' ice shacks. And then last but not least, you come in the door right there. We got the light switches on and off and we ended up deciding to put a little table right here for number one, again, drink a beer, put a beer, do some stand-up editing, whatever you want to do, just a little tableware. And underneath here, uh, there is, if you guys can see there, that's a little electrical thing that kind of sticks out. Um, we wanted this to kind of cover it so the aesthetics were better for you guys and you don't see that. And then this, we, we were unclear what we want to do with this yet. We could put a, like a little garbage can in here and toss garbage, or you know, you could stack up some stuff in there for more storage. But Again, guys, uh, leave comments down below what you think of the shack and what we should do with it. Like the base and it's ready to go, but what else should we add to it? Okay, that's always something that I'm gonna ask you guys is to help us out and let us know what you guys think. All right, I'm gonna do one more pan through of the finished product. Oh yes, 
Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. This just amazes me how far we have come. Pop and... up a before and after picture. Yeah, yeah, guys, right now. Okay, so you, you sh I just showed you what right it looks here. like. I'm gonna do a before and after picture of what it looks like. I'll even toss in the video when we first bought it, what it looks like and how it was just as we bought it. But this is what it looks like now. Man, it what do you good. what do you think? What do I'm you think excited. about the build? Dude, I'm excited to get this thing out on the ice. I'm like, it's so, it's like a satisfying thing to see like what it looked like before to what it is now. John and I definitely couldn't have done this without the boys. Huge shout out to Justin and Owen. But and his brothers and his brothers. I mean, John and I had the idea of you know changing the walls, doing the floors, but this just blew it out the water. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, huge shout out to the boys. Which if I open this right here, what up? Oh, what up? There's one of them. Where, oh, oh, look at them <laughs> all. Where's Justin? Who farted? What's up? Hey, <laughs> look at that. Hey, <laughs> huge farted? shout out to all you oh. homies. Side yeah, I'm gonna go for it too. Oh yeah, Keaton just showed up. <laughs> Keaton just showed up to, to see what's going on. We got the whole hunting soda clan here, except Dan. Who farted? <laughs> that was Good not me. God, dude. No, no. But that is actually going to conclude the building part of all of this series. Uh, again, like I said, we have minor things to do still, which I'm not gonna film it. You guys just get boring. This is the stuff that you guys really wanted to see. Uh, but let us know where should we go with this. What is the next step? Well, I can tell you what the next step is. We're going to go fishing in this, and I'm excited. We don't know where we're going to go yet, though. So help us out in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for sticking with us and going along this journey with us, building out this ice shack. It was one heck of a ride, and, man, it, in my opinion, it turned out great. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and we'll catch you guys next time. Oh, hey.